AM review. Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on with our review of Maya blocks, mm -hmm. we've done Tetra. We've done and Rubik's. And Rubik's. Mm -hmm. Today we are talking about Contra. Now this is a very specialized yep, product. So is. we're starting to move into the little bit more specialized products with them. This is an anti-cortisol slash anti-estrogen pro muscle hardener. Yeah. All right. Very interesting product. Very interesting. And contains a lot of ingredients, some new and some old. So basically, I'll get you to go through that ingredients list because it's pretty extensive. It is. And just go through a little bit of explanation on how everything works. The anti-cortisol parts and the anti-estrogen. Estrogen parts. Certainly. So I'll quickly I'll run through what the ingredients are. The first ingredient we have an ashwagandha, and then we have an ingredient called 3-3 dim dolly methane. It's dim. Dim dolly methane. Dim dolly methane. That's, that's an ingredient that was around a long time ago. I've been in the industry a long time ago, long time, and like 10, 15 years ago, dim mm. was around as specific products. And yep. then it disappeared, and now there's. I have noticed a number of companies are bringing it back. Yes. Yep. The next ingredient is something that I've never heard of, which is interesting. Um, n comoral dopamine. Now, n comoral dopamine is new, but it's been around for a while. Good. Okay. And the last ingredient sounds like a pro hormone, but it's not. Androster 35 dian 717 dion. Now, if you see that, goes, it's a steroid. Yeah. Well, it's an ingredient. Okay. Yeah. It's a pro hormone. Yeah, it is. You're going to die. Yeah. Okay, so the first ingredient ashwagandha as KSM 66. Ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic adaptogen. Now, if you don't know what an adaptogen is, adaptogenic herbs, they are essentially work on um, the cortisol in the, uh, in the, in the brain, on the. On the uh, cortisol level we'll call it yep but what this does if it if you're anxious ashwagandha can bring you down yeah if you're oh like if you yes if, if you're anxious it brings you down if you're feeling flat in the morning and you know you're feeling a little bit low it brings you up yep. so it can help stabilize the cortisol in your body giving you a, a bring you back to homeostasis to give you that nice well, the main ingredient in ATP is it, called RX it is as well yes so it so has it yep. has um, at higher doses it can have a um, like it can knock you out. Yep, that's what they call it. That's yep. what they put it really. Um, and I do, I do use a ashwagandha product like that for my sleep purposes. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly there is right. a lot around of ashwagandha, and I do recommend people do look it up themselves. Uh, there's pages upon pages of it. Best thing, best thing I can say for it is, it helps stabilize your cortisol levels. Okay. Yep. Moving on to so that's the cortisol part of yes. the product. Yes. Moving on to three dim dolly methane dim. Now, DIM is a metabolite of something called indole-3-carbonyl, which is found in most green veggies, kale, radish, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, etc., etc., etc. Now, DIM works as an aromatase inhibitor. Now, aromatase is an enzyme which, in men, can cause gynecomastia, can cause excess, um, excess weight gain. What it is, is when you have too much testosterone in your aromatizing, it can convert to estrogen. When men, estrogen is a bad thing. But estrogen is not always a bad thing. Estrogen is actually one of the most, if not the most, potent muscle builders in the body. Exactly right. And it's the same with cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol is not a bad thing. No. You just need to have the, the body releasing cortisol at the right time. Yep, and have the you right want cortisol being released in the morning to wake you up, and cortisol uh, be buffered at night time. Yes. If you're opposite, that's when you're going to have trouble sleeping Very and then so. trouble getting up in the morning. So, mm -hmm. um, yes, that, yeah. and that's what years ago when I said that DIM was around, it was primarily used and sold as an anti estrogen product. There we go. So, that's the first two ingredients. Yep. Okay, N comoral dopamine. Now, it has dopamine in there. Dopamine is part of the fight or flight. Uh, part of the brain where if you know it's a form of adrenaline, yep, which is always good. Now, n coprolol dopamine is a naturally occurring beta 2 androgenic receptor. Um, essentially, it is, comes from Pia broma cocoa. If you ever had chocolate or dark chocolate, it just felt really good afterwards. Exactly right. Yes. Usually, it's that's that's from the release. It's not the sugars. It's that release of dopamine and noradrenaline in the brain. Now, um, beta and why you can't stop at one piece? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> the best thing about it is and sort of counteractive to eating chocolate. Beta 2 agonists are the most potent form of um, like fat burning in the human body. 
the most strongest beta 2 agonists are ephedrine and clenbuterol, which are both highly illegal. Yep. Alrighty. Now moving down the list. So I'll read this out. I don't know. I didn't know this. This is interesting to me. And comoral dopamine works by increasing the messenger molecule cyclic adenosine monophosphate, or CAMP. CAMP elevates a process called lipolysis, which is when your cells release fatty acid to be burned as energy. Okay. Yeah. So that's what n comoral dopamine does. It helps your body break down fat and use it as an energy source. Okay. Mm. Interesting. There we go. Yep. And the last one is the pro-hormone sounding androster 3,5-dione-717-dione. Um, it's a metabolite of 7-keto-DHA, which is an aromatase inhibitor. Yep. So, but going back to our um, DIM, where it stops, it stops aromatase, this is an aromatase inhibitor. So, it also can stops the conversion of excess testosterone to estrogen, so it keeps testosterone high in the body. And estrogen at a balanced level. Yeah. So Beautiful. With all the ingredients together, you've got the calming effect of ashwagandha, you've got the um, testosterone conversion stoppage of DIM and androster 3,5-dione-717-dione, and the beta-2 agonist of the dopamine. So it will also make you feel really happy, burn fat, keep testosterone at high levels, and keep estrogen at manageable levels. Yep. And keep your cortisol producing at the right times of the yes, day. Yes, exactly. So serving size is two capsules per day. They recommend again, take one capsule in the morning and then one capsule six to yes. eight hours later. And Tetra is used in like a 12 week cycle, I believe. Contra. Contra, sorry, Contra. <laughs> Tetra is the fat burner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, don't have yep. that for 12 weeks straight. No. Yeah, Tetra. So basically use this, uh, yeah, in a 12 week cycle. Uh, now available in Australian Muscle, all stores and online. Looking at $89.95 and you have got 28 days. So one month. Worth. So one month. Yeah. So, so Terrific. Thanks a lot. Top Contra by Maya Blocks. Available now. Yeah.